Hi everybody and welcome back to Visit File Coast. I've just been doing a quick video about our new Coast Watchers project, inviting people to put their photographs of the beach and the, the views and the um, sunsets and seafronts and all the, all the job lot onto the Coast Watchers portal on Visit File Coast. And I was literally just going to mention that a friend of mine had rung me at lunchtime and said she was on the beach, at Russell Beach at Cleveland. She was on the beach and she could see loads of microplastics washed up and she'd never seen anything like it before. And I agreed that I can't say that I've particularly seen microplastics washed up here either. And just as I was going to say it, I walked through them. So I thought we'd do a little video and then you can see I've lost them! <laughs> um, then you can see what we're talking about. <clears throat> so this seems to be the, the extent of it. We're, we're across from the parking area at Russell Beach and you can see on the beach here, I'll get, I'll get the camera down, that there are little glimmering bits of colour among the sand. And they're little bits of plastic. Some of it will be shell and stone. But I can't say that I've ever seen a really bright green shell or a bright pink one I think you almost agree with that and <coughs> Jean said to me that they're in lines where you can see that the that the the waves have pushed them can you see that green one there that's a big one where the waves have pushed them and she's dead right She's dead right. There's a, there's a line. I don't know whether you'll be able to pick it up properly on camera, but there's a line of them across the beach. See these here? It's definitely plastic. And it's a, it's a proper line that sort of wiggles across the beach where the, the waves have pushed them up in a straight line and then retreated them because the light it's left them behind. You can see some there, look. In a, in a line left by the waves. There's more there. There's, there's a lot. And this is the thing about plastic. That is an absolutely perfect example. Look how it's sat around the edge of the, the water line on that puddle. That is awful. Because plastic never goes away. And when, when you've done with your plastic, if it, if it does end up in the sea, all that happens to it is that it gets broken down. Look at that. I have never seen that before, Jean's right. It gets broken down into smaller and smaller and smaller parts until it becomes what are called microplastics, which is what these are heading for. So obviously these are not quite microplastics yet, but the point is that when they're micro, you can't actually see them. So pieces of plastic get chopped up. Oh, that's a good bit. That bit there, look. They get chopped up by the water and they get broken down into smaller and smaller parts, which are, I should say, they're probably pinhead size, most of them. And then eventually they become so small that they're microscopic, and then the animals and the plankton and the things that live in the sea end up eating it. And then it gets into the food chain because the plankton and the little teeny tiny animals are obviously food for the fish and then the fish get eaten by bigger fish and then we eat the fish and da 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 da. I, she's right, I have never ever seen that before. That's awful. Some beaches, particularly down south, get a lot of what are called nurdles. And I can't say I've ever seen any nurdles on our beach, although there's always a first time. And nurdles are... No, there's none there. 
Noodles are the little plastic pellets that they use in the plastic manufacturing process. So if you're going to build, if you're going to make, for example, Cindy dolls, let's say, um, the, the, the people, oh, that is a right mess. Goodness me. The people that, that make them in the factories would buy plastic noodles from a plastic processing place and then they would put them into their plastic extrusion jobby, melt them so that they're the right um, consistency and then they would use um, probably plastic injection moulding to form them into dolls. I'm speechless and that takes some doing. Wow, I'm, I'm shocked. I don't think you can see it properly. Let me just zoom in on that bit there. Look at that. And if the, the plants that make the, the things that are made out of plastic are near waterways generally, sometimes they, they lose some of their raw materials into the, the river system, which then ultimately ends up on a beach. So a lot of beaches, particularly down south, seem to do, do seem to get a problem with noodles, but it's not something that I think we've ever really suffered with. I can't, I can't say that there's any in that. They're all, they're all random, strangely shaped shards. That's awful. So now you can see why it's important that when you're anywhere near the coast, if you've got any plastic rubbish, that you put it in a bin. Don't drop bottles. Don't just chuck things out of your car window because you can't be bothered. Because ultimately, at some point, you probably end up eating it. Here we go, look, there's a plastic bottle here. So there's a clear plastic bottle sat in the middle of all this with a, a brittle plastic wrap round its neck and that is the sort of stuff that's formed all this debris that's around it that is shocking goodness me so now you know why we litter pick and why we beach clean and why we don't say it's somebody else's job i'm not doing it so when all this coronavirus cape has returned to normal and, and life carries on, you'll have to come and join the Russell Beach group. And meanwhile, post your photographs on Coast Watchers because it's all important information and it's all, it all needs saving and recording for the day when we need it. Because that's just what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take lots of photographs. Don't forget to subscribe as well. And next time I'm horrified and speechless, you'll get an alert if you hit that little bell for notifications. See you later. Bye.